post-spawn. A drop shot can be deadly. And uh, we got uh, the new Kitech Custom Leech. This thing is, looks amazing. So we're going to be putting this thing to the test today, field testing it out for Kitech USA. You can always go to their website, kitechusa.com. Uh, and order their products online. And uh, don't forget to check out BassinUSA.com for all our instructional videos. So we're gonna give this a shot, see if we can get some fish finessing them off of uh, post-spawn areas, hanging around bluegill beds. You got it, you got it. <laughs> that small buck, hanging around, hanging around the beds, the bluegill beds, that is. All right, so there's a small post-spawner. I always found it amazing how bass, it's almost like they're giving the, the bluegills payback for beating up on the beds when the bass are on the beds. Because as soon as they get done, the bluegills take over their spawning areas and then the bass hang around and beat up on the bluegills. Yep, got a nice bass on it. Ooh, can't take leech again. Had it. <laughs> so anyway, this would, this is the Kitech leech here again. And there's two ways you can rig this guy. You can either rig it up on its side like that or you can rig it on the flat, which is pretty cool. And it gives you two very different uh, looks. I personally like it up on its side. It keeps the bait in making more of a side to side motion. Uh, looks more like a bait fish. When you put it up uh, sideways like this, it wags a little bit more, looks more like a leech. So I just take this on my little gammy hook here and just run the head and just nose hook it like you would at any other soft plastic bait. You gotta stand it out, right? That's my rig. I use the polymer knot to tie onto a number four Gamakatsu drop shot hook. And I just got a little quarter ounce weight down here. Okay. <laughs> Little Argy, right on the weed edge. That didn't take long. Another flip in, boom, he smacked that Kitech leech. Little buck here. And with the drop shot, boom, right in the top of the mouth all the time. You know, with the drop shot, you know, I like a 6'6 six, six rod. You want to leave your drag a little loose. You want to make sure you got a little bit of a bend in your tip on your rod, so, so more of a, a, of a softer tip, because these fish are using that light hook, and you want to be able to have a little forgiveness when you're catching them. Usually I find that when they're protecting stuff, they want something a little bit bigger in size, but this leech has been working real good today. So I'm gonna back up, try and get in position again, see if I can't get it down, because I'm not seeing the fry up by the surface, so that it's gotta be down a little bit in the water, and uh, it's funny because it's very similar to bed fishing, you know? You're, you're visually seeing these fish, you're, you're making multiple presentations to them the same way you do on a bed. It's just now they're, they're more loosely related to a moving object, which is the fry, as opposed to their bed. He's turning around looking at it, he just had it. So he had it, so he definitely wanted this. So I just missed, that was my mistake. I, he had it in his mouth. He went down, he turned up on the side, grabbed it, and he just got it, now he got her. So, that took a couple of shots, but with the Kitech leech, bang, he hit second cast. Nice fish too, not a bad one. Again, top of the mouth to the Kitech leech. Got my fan club up there. Not a bad one. <laughs> so no giant, but a nice uh, post one. 